What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the Buccaneers' offensive analysis, and it's going to be a whole lot of runs, guys. Get excited, because there was 33 runs. Probably every one of them is in here. No, I'm joking, but there's a lot of them, and the Buccaneers put a huge emphasis on running the ball this offseason, and it pretty much showed. There's a whole lot of pulls that we didn't really see in the volume that we saw last year. It, you're going to see it a lot on display, and it's amazing showing how athletic this offensive line is. Like Shaq Mason, hell of a good athlete at 300 pounds, 6'2", whatever he is. Look at the movement skills he has to get out in front and block for Leonard Fournette, and I love always seeing three tight end sets. That's something on this channel you're going to hear all the time. Go ahead, Plus. Yeah, it's it's a beautiful beautiful thing to see as as you watch it unfold here. Uh, allowing the big guys just go forward and, you know, side to side, you know, obviously using their athleticism, Shaq Mason, Donovan Smith getting downhill, K-Dot and Co'Keefe, Cam Brate, all these guys just working in unison and then Leonard Fournette finding the holes and making it, it a big gain. Uh, again, you're going to see it here. Once again, guys pulling, guys making uh, great blocks here on the edge, seals, all, all good stuff. Yeah, I'm showing this angle. Look how close this this is. And, and from the other angle, you don't really see it. How the hell does he get through there? You got get a key coming through here. And then you got him running into the lineman here, still staying balanced. And then now, look at this massive hole. Boom. It looked like it was such an easy run. But look at these 300-pound men running through these little alleyways. Jack Mason, get a key. And then mowing the road. Look at that. Nice stuff. You're going to see it from a different angle. Plus, break this down for me. Yeah, it's it's really cool to see again just good execution, good concepts. Uh you you have your down blocks, you have again guys coming across doing a good job of holding their man, uh pushing, you know, the right angle here. Again, Shaq Mason just doing work on number 6, taking him out of the pitcher and then Leonard Fournette with a nice cut uh to get up field. It's unfortunate Perriman, it looks like he got hurt on this play. A little bit better effort. This might have been uh, a bigger game, but still great execution and you get a good uh, football play. And then the more pools with Hainsey and Wells and, and guys getting it upfield. Uh, it's really nice. Shaq Mason getting to the second level. Yeah. So really beautiful to see as far as just the execution that was put on display. How many times you hear about people talking 300 pound athletes and we got them. I mean, you saw Hainsey pull there. Look at Hainsey pull here now with Tristan Wirfs pulling. And then who do they count on? They're two tight ends to block down. Insane. They just know the ability of their tight ends to block. And then the athleticism of the guards to get out in space to block, clear the road, make it easier. It doesn't matter who's in the backfield. That's Rashad White there. It doesn't matter who's in there. They're going to block well, and they know how to do it. I love seeing this because you know how good of a, a aerial attack this team has. Then you have Co'Keefe coming in here blocking, tight ends blocking, your guards rolling out. Amazing, fantastic. But this is probably one of the best – blocked runs of, of the game plus break this down for me yeah it's really really incredible to see just very good execution and also awareness i mean shaq mason does a great job of realizing okay i'm going to seal this guy on the end allow Keefe to follow and pick up the linebacker it's a great job of really doing a seal on a seal like you're opening up the lane as it's coming around the corner Great job, great patience by Leonard Fournette to not overrun this. And again, just good execution. Look at Luke Gedeke, really hold his man up. That's uh, Micah Parsons there. So again, shifting, picking up a new guy. Yeah, it's beautiful. And really the Buccaneers offense was just pounding, pounding the Cowboys away. And it's physicality at, at its best. One more time, plus pounding. Uh, let's put it this way. <laughs> 69 over here, <laughs> Shaq Mason. Huge. I, I want people to emphasize how good he is at run blocking because he's spinning his whole entire body, sealing that edge, knowing that he's passing this off to Keith. And look at the seal. And the patience, like you said, with Leonard Fournette, nasty. And then in the box, making this little cut to get upfield. Disgusting all around. That was probably my favorite play of the game. And then now more co Keith. Get in there. Make some men. Move some men. Yeah, move some men. Absolutely. They were moving everybody in this game. And really just being physical at the point of attack. And that's something that they're going to have to do uh, throughout the season. And it's just great to see them being committed to the run game and really executing at a high level. You can see the work has paid off throughout the off season, the additions that they've made. Again, look at the movement. I mean, they're just steamrolling guys here, uh, you know, pushing the, the pocket. And it's really nice. And they're trusting these two rookies. That's Coke 
Kate Otten and Coquif. We need short yardage. Yeah, wait, let's go behind this guy. I mean, the rookies mm-hmm. know what the hell they're doing in the running game. And I don't care if they didn't catch a ball. They contributed this offense in a huge way by blocking for Leonard Fournette to have himself by the best game of his career as a Buccaneer. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is as easy as it comes. Again, yes. just good blocking here, finding a seal, and it's wide open lanes. Like this is Moses coming in and making the, <laughs> the Red Sea spare. Like it's 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 awesome. So yeah, great job there of yeah, just finding the lane. Great blocking. I love the double team by Get a Key and Robert Hainsey. Great job. And this happens because people got scared of the pulls. They're like, holy crap, they're gonna pull again. Nope, they didn't. They went right up the gut and look at the huge gainer. Now here, this is just Leonard Fournette reading. Okay, if they're going to start jamming everyone in the middle, hell, I can make an option route myself and get outside and make a move, make someone miss, and then run someone over. Why the hell not? I'm pretty good at this stuff. And then one more choice route. Hainsey kind of gets beat. Choice route, choice run. (laughs) Hainsey gets beat here. Man right in the middle. Kind of bulldozes through. It doesn't matter. Fournette, twinkle toes over here, bounces it outside, gets upfield. I like it. Tell me more. Yeah, again, Fournette showing the ability that, like he can make plays on his own if if the blocking's not up to par. And he does a great job of cutting this one back, making the most of it. And he didn't really have to do that much in this game. And that shows a lot of credit to the offensive line and the tight ends blocking up front, really creating the way. Uh, you love to see it. I'm very proud of the, the run game, and I can't wait to see how it does against uh, the opponents coming up. And I got to give credit to Cam Braid as well. He was one of the good blocking tight ends as well. That's something he hasn't done well in the past, but he did well in this game altogether. The whole entire running game was phenomenal. And we had to throw one pass play in here. It was the only touchdown of the game. There it is right here. One-handed catch by Mike Evans. They should have been doing this every damn time in the red zone. I don't know why they didn't do it more consistently. Hopefully they learned. But other than that, Mike Evans with the one touchdown, it looked flawless, looked amazing. Plus, talk on it. Yeah, it's a thing of beauty. Uh, It was awesome to see, again, that picture right there as you pause it. It's just, it's so awesome. One-handed catch, number 13. Number one player in our hearts, definitely. uh, And he makes a great play. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to hit the like button. Comment down below what you think of this Buccaneers run game. They're just going to keep pounding it away on people, pounding it on the opponents. Again, I'm stealing the Panthers tagline there, but... Yep, keep pounding, and man, it was just so fun. Let us know what you guys think of it, and with that said, until the next one.